Coach, we'll start with you. A, a really good season for, for the women last year, a third place in the Gleax and, and a good showing at, at the regionals. What, what did you see from them last year that you liked? Uh, we saw a lot of things over the course of the season that we liked. Um, it was, uh, we were pretty consistent, I would say, uh, throughout the year. Uh, we came out and had a, a really good first beat at uh, the Warrior Challenge, our home invite, uh, and uh, defended our title on the home course against good competition there. Um, and throughout the season, I mean, we had meets like the Lewis uh, crossover. We were very competitive there. Um, had a solid day. Uh, Lee X was a, a really rough day with the, the conditions. The weather was uh, very challenging, um, but that was that way for everybody. So um, we were aiming a little bit higher than the th third place finish, but uh, we still you know, we beat some solid teams there. Um, and then uh, regional meet, uh, we ran fast. We ran some fast times, but unfortunately we did not end up uh, quite where we wanted to be uh, in terms of qualifying for the national championships. We needed to be a couple of places higher um, than 10th where we ended up. Um, our region's just extremely tough. Um, maybe 10 of the best 30 teams in the country potentially out of our region. So um, yeah, we ended on a little bit of a down note, uh, not making it to the national meet. Um, track season was really, really good uh, for our distance crew, uh, mid-distance and long-distance. We, we had a lot of improvement from a lot of different people. So we're coming into this season with a little bit different mindset, I think. Ryan right, Charlene, for you, obviously one of the better runners on the team last year, coming back, a lot of top finishes. What, what did you like about the way you competed last year, and how do you think you can just build on what you did last season? Um, I was happy with the build in confidence that I had uh, over the last season. I'm hoping to continue that because I think that it was a key component in um, a lot of my better races. Um, I really made an effort to communicate with my teammates during races right before um, you know so I I really liked doing that um, working with them to try and get us all in a good position and I coach back to you similar to the men's team a lot of letter winners coming back from, from a season ago what do you see what have you seen from them just early on in practice to let you know you guys are kind of ready to go for that first meet at North um, our workout we did yesterday in our last workout at camp uh, was it like a night and day difference from last year um, in terms of how everybody looked, how healthy we are coming off of that. Um, it was, you know, we were very impressed. Coaching staff was impressed with how the team looked yesterday. Um, it's, it's a tough one that we, we started doing the last couple of years. A uh, six mile tempo for our top group and a four mile continuous tempo run um, for most of the team. And between returners and newcomers, a lot of people looked uh, very strong. We can tell right away that people put in a, a very good summer of training did the work that's necessary um, to set themselves up to have a, a really successful season. Charlene, back to you, just kind of being around the team for a while, being one of the one of the team's top runners, what have you seen from newcomers, you know, and, and the freshmen? Um, who kind of stands out to you as somebody that could, that could help you guys out this year? Honestly, all of them. Um, we've seen just a lot of really good team culture with the freshmen coming in. Um, we. Definitely. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell right now um, going into the season just because everyone looks so strong, um, all the freshmen coming in. Um, I think Bree Bojanov, uh, Rachel Felsto, those are two girls that are just sticking off, you know, at the top of my head right now. Um, Brianna Wiegand, a uh, lot of other girls that are really just stepping up. Um, so really excited because we're all meshing super well, working together in workouts. Um, so it's great to see. And expectation-wise, obviously trying to keep building off of what you guys have done and trying to get back to that national meet. What, what are some of those expectations you have this year? Is this the goal to kind of get back to, to that top meet? That's the, the biggest goal by far right off the bat is, is get back to the national championships. Um, that's our goal every year. Uh, and we've got some folks who achieved that in 2019, didn't get the chance in 2020, um, and missed out last year. So they've kind of been uh, up and down, had, had a lot of different experiences and are very, very motivated uh, to make that happen this year. Um, the biggest expectation is for our group just to take a step forward in terms of uh, confidence and uh, sticking their nose in near the front of races. Um, we have a lot of depth, again, as on the men's side. Um, and like where we finished at the GLIAC meet, the regional meet last year, we had a really nice pack, uh, but we didn't, we weren't quite as far up as we would like to be, basically, um, in, in the race. Um, want to get those, those folks coming in in the, in the single digits and teens at the GLIAC meet um, versus teens and 20s, uh, then we'll be, we'll be in business. And I think the way things look right now, I think we're, we're in a position to make that happen. Charlene, Coach just kind of mentioned that motivation. You guys are obviously so close last year to, to maybe reaching that national meet. Is there, for you as an athlete, what, what's the motivation level like just to kind of reach that meet again? 
just, I mean, after after the you know kind of blow that we got at regionals, um, you know, we were really, really hoping to be in Tampa last year at nationals. Um, so, I think that's honestly been the biggest motivator uh, for this year. Just going in this season, you know, saying we will be at nationals, we will be qualifying, uh, we will have a great performance at regionals. You know, we will step up to the plate. I think just knowing that um, after what had happened last year would is just super, super motivating um, for this upcoming season. One more, just how excited are you guys to, to get that season going and kind of just put all that training to work and, and kind of see it against different opponents? We're, we're definitely very excited. Uh, I know the coaching staff talked about that uh, yesterday at the end of cross country camp. Um, we're really excited to see what this team can do. Um, we just have to temper our expectations a little bit right now uh, because, uh, as I said uh, earlier, the National championships aren't until December 2nd. Uh, the GLIAC meet, GLIAC meet is not until uh, the beginning of November. Um, so everything's a, little, a bit late. Uh, we don't even have a, a meet where we're going to be really getting after it and, and seeing some um, deep competition and uh, a high level fields until like, the end of September. Um, so we're trying to be patient but keep that excitement at the same time uh, right now at the end of August.